good, knowing that I had almost been eliminated the night before. I need a girl that's going to stay loyal to me and send out the right message. Gotcha. So your time is up. I'm going to keep Hot Lanta. Hey, girl. They put a nut letter on your door saying you got it to the 27th leave. The landlord wrote the letter? No, the sheriff's officer. He wants $1,050 plus late fee. Your mom could come over and we about to pack up. I'm upset. I got an eviction notice, and that is so not me. It's been like 10 years since I've been evicted. I left without paying my rent because I had to have money to come out here. It turns out Atlanta has an eviction notice on her door. What the hell are you doing here if you got three kids to take care of and you got a fucking eviction notice on your door? She's a sorry excuse for a mother, and she needs to be home trying to fix her problems. Ladies, come on in. <laughs> hey, yo, check this out. Would y'all marry me? Wow! Wow! One day, Flav Flav wants to get married. I didn't say today, and I didn't say next week. But one day, so I'm gonna see if any one of these girls is marriage material. We're gonna break yourselves up into teams of three. Each team is gonna have a bride, but made of honor, and the bridesmaid. Y'all got one hour. Each team has to write the bride's vows to me. Each team has to write my vows to the bride. Then each team is going to write an objection speech to one other team's weddings. The winner goes on a date with Flav Flav tomorrow. Today, we are gonna see who marries me the best. I'm looking for all of these girls who profess their love to me and show me how banging they is. Good luck, ladies. I think we should pick teams. Yes. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> At this challenge, we get to pick our own team, so I would make off the back, it would be Sincere, my sister, and myself, so. So y'all y'all, gonna be a team? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I decided to put Trina and Hotlanta on my team. I know Hotlanta will be a good bride because she pretty much already feels like her and Flay were married, and Tree is an actress. So I felt like Tree should do the objection. Um, which one of you guys, I guess, whoever can fit the challenge? Yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. For a challenge, I'm on a team with Black and Prototype. This is our chance, you know? Finally, like, the new girls will be able to beat out the old girls, and one of those new girls will be able to get our time with Flav. Ladies, you guys got T2. I agreed to do the objection, and I absolutely have no information or dirt at all on thing two. I know nothing about her or her sister. I am definitely screwed. Thing one, thing two, sincere. You guys got uh, Miss Hot Lanta. Objecting to Hot Lanta is going to be a piece of cake, because we've got so much shit on her, it's not even funny. Ladies. You have Miss Black. Yep, we got the, the actress here. Oh, man, I'm excited about this challenge. I'm a bit of an actress, so I'm like hoping, hoping, hoping to get the first date with him. And you're going to be just like, an objective, bitch ass. Just, just be over the top with that shit. That you got to be, be extra. Annoying, you won't be <laughs> annoying. Trust me, you won't be annoying. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just wing it. Yeah. Me and Season's told Trey, you got to be dramatical. Be extra, you know, be, be extra dramatic. How much time do we have? <laughs> you got 10 more minutes. Okay. I need a fucking drink. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Atlanta! Seasons. Come on, baby. Atlanta. I'm coming. <laughs> came up to me, and I've seen them blue eyes looking at me. It's kind of beautiful up under there. I, Black, take Flav to be my lawfully wedded, so, so fresh husband. I promise from here on out to love and cherish you, to give you three more beautiful children, <laughs> and to cook you heart-shaped biscuits in the morning and fried chicken at night. <laughs> Ooh, I like that, I like that, I like that. Black has got it going on. She's beautiful. I think that the other brides are probably jealous because she looks so good. I flee. Take you, Black, to have 
at the hole every single night to make sure you know. I object! <laughs> I object! I object! You do, you do. Just listen here, just listen here, just listen here. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> What is she doing? You need a strong woman <laughs> who can speak up for herself. Everybody's looking like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Does she like fried chicken? No, 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 no. Goodness gracious, woman. I mean, I told Tree to be dramatic, but I didn't think that she was going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> and good night. The tree just made a complete ass of herself, and I was so excited because I knew I was about to get this date. Check one, two. Standing here, not really hard thinking. Don't listen to that lady. I think she was drinking. <laughs> I think she might be a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, when we finished, I definitely was like, all right, I, th I think we did really, really good, and we might have a chance of winning. Good job. So as I'm standing there getting ready to marry Atlanta, I start smelling alcohol. I think she was a little drunk, man. <laughs> Helena showed up to her own wedding drunk. She drinks all day, every day, so it's no surprise that she was drunk during the ceremony. Bride? Yes, ma'am. You have prepared your vows. Will you say them now? Well, Flav, I couldn't really think of anything to make up to say. But I thought I had a few things to say from the heart. We've been through a lot. Till death do us part, or till our top clocks stop ticking. I will keep to you these promises. I read my vows to him. It was cute. That went really cute. It went really good, I think. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I, Flavor Flav, take you, Hotlanta, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Just make sure every night you can clean my gold teeth. Before I put my blessing upon this marriage, is there anyone who would object? I object. Sincere so stands up, and I'm thinking, oh, hell no. Today is the Till Death Do Us Part Challenge. Is there anyone who would object to this marriage? I object. Sincere stands up and she starts saying all of this stuff. Atlanta, you don't have a backbone, let alone a body. He needs someone classy, not trashy. You can't provide a stable environment for your children and yourself, let alone a man. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You don't know nothing about me. I support me and my family on my own without any problems, and I'm proud of it. I've not been, it's been like 10 years since I've been evicted. Now, if you go to court, then they give you, what, 30 days? I left without paying my rent. But you know what? I wouldn't stand up there by myself. I would stand up there next to my man, and if he gave a fuck about me, he would open up his mouth. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. Wow. Flav didn't say shit, but wow. That just put the icing on the cake. It was not now a game of, Flav, I'm the woman for you. It became me contemplating if he's really man enough for me. Okay, this way. to take Flavor Flav to be my lawful wedded husband. With you, William Drake. Straighten. D-R-A-Y-T or William Drake. That's a bad sign when the girl you're marrying doesn't even know your last name. William Drayton, 
There you go. My now that apologies. sounds more like it. Cause Drake's makes cake. <laughs> William Drake's here <laughs> to stand here and become your wife. Wow. This seemed like a real wedding for real. Play the king of my castle, the love of my life, my best friend, my confidant, and soon to be my husband. Oh, you rocking, you rocking. <laughs> Rock that. I'm feeling kind of confident. I think that the vows kind of won him over. You have had my back since day one, if any Excuse my language, ref. You motherfucker in here <laughs> is genuinely down for her man. <laughs> it is you. Thing two. <laughs> I object. For one, how can you marry someone that don't even know your real name? Two, she didn't respect you enough to get all of her toenails polished. Three, She's wearing the wrong type of bra with that very gorgeous dress. So I'm feeling really excited because I think I may have just pulled this off. You know what? <laughs> Thing two could not get my name right for nothing. But I ain't mad, folks. Thing two has some nice vows that she wrote. I swear that felt like a wedding for real. Real. Ladies, I did very good. Black, the team did kind of good. The way y'all stepped up and everything was proper. But Tree, you lost it for your team because you was too dramatical. Know what I'm saying? It was completely seasons and Hotlanta's idea for me to be dramatic, overly dramatic, you know? And I thought I gave a great performance. Thing two. Slamming job, it was like much more real from the bottom of my heart. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine. So, you gonna give it to Thing Two? We weren't shocked at all. Obviously, our vows and objection was the best of all three groups. Yes. Check one, two. The winning team will move on to the next challenge. Got that saying? To death do us part, right? So, I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go inside, put on your black dresses, and I want y'all to write eulogies to my funeral. The one that writes the best eulogy is going to go on a solo date with your man. Flav tell us that we have to write a eulogy, and that only one of us get to go on a date with him. It kind of throws a twist in the game. So now it's everyone for themselves. I'm thinking that my odds of winning this challenge are a little bit higher than the twins because I am a little bit more serious than they are. attending Flavor Flav's funeral. Thing one. After I'm dead and gone, I need a widow that's going to really carry my legacy. We are gathered here today, not to mourn a passing, but to celebrate a homecoming, and to give thanks to the man who accomplished it all, to his children. He was loving, caring, and concerned. And in their eyes, he will always be their number one dad. <laughs> In true Flav fashion, it didn't stay very serious for long. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Flav. <laughs> <laughs> Thing one, her speech was how I was a good father to the kids, but she kept laughing. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> good evening. We're here today for the morning of the loss of one of the greatest hype men of the business. He has standed his ground for 20 plus years in the business of entertainment. And it's not only a huge loss to me, but he's even a greater loss to the music business. Thing two, her speech was a little more serious, 
because she put a little bit of my history into the mystery. And I said, go on, sister. Good evening, ladies. This is my chance to let everybody know how important Flav is to me. William Drayton, AKA Flavor Flav, was an angel here on earth. Flavor Flav gave myself, as well as other African Americans, self pride to know that we have rights as human beings. But when I heard the song Fight the Power, that song made me feel, as a child, good about being black and being proud. So Sincere walks up to the podium and she starts to cry. I didn't buy that for two seconds. I will set up our foundation in his name so that we could continue to teach children to continue the fight against racism and to learn to love themselves for who they are. Now that was beautiful. Now let's see what the deceased has to say about all this. the winner of the Till Death Do Us Part Challenge. Ladies, I just want to say, all oh, y'all did a good job at burying your man. I want this date with Flav so bad. Just the fact I never had a one-on-one -on -one day with him before. One who had the most realist eulogy to me as I laid here listening. was sincere. So, sincere, you go on a solo date with me tomorrow. We'll see y'all in a minute. Sincere ended up winning the solo date with me the next day because her eulogy was the best, and then also her rejection speech at the wedding was the best. Hey, ladies, come on down to the bar, please. A little note for Mr. Flavor Flav. I already got married. We already had a funeral. What is there else possibly that we can do right now? Yesterday, I gave the new girls a chance to fill y'all out. Now I want to give you the chance to do the same. So go ahead and decide as a group which of my new girls, Black, Prototype, Tree, and Luscious D, is really down for your boy and whose time should be up. I am so excited to get ready to drill each and every one of these girls. Now we can really figure out who's really here for Flav and who's not. Love, Flav. Do me a favor. Mm. Um, on the way back down, get my bottle. I knew it had something to do with liquor. You got enough wine in your bottle? Helena is always carrying a bottle of wine anywhere she goes. Then if she doesn't have it, she has a stash of liquor upstairs in her room. Thank you. Oh, my. This sucks a lot because these old girls want all of us new girls out of the house, and I have a feeling they're gonna do anything that they can to get us out. Well, what do you do for a living? Yeah. Um, I'm a manager at Men's Warehouse, so I um, sell men's suits, mm -hmm. and I also um, am a Miller Lite model. I don't even know how the hell she's even a model. She has buck teeth, she has stretch marks on her arms and her hips, and she doesn't even have any children. What do you know about Flav? I met him back in, it was either June or July. Why didn't you give him your number? I'm not that type of person. So you gotta be that type of person up in here, I'll tell you that yeah. much. <laughs> Basically, this bitch is a model, and I think the only reason why she's here is for exposure and not for Flav. Um, so you are white, right? <laughs> so what do your parents will say about you dating Flav? Well, my son's mixed, so. Oh, okay, so, then, so you cool yeah, with, you know, because yeah. you know he wants three more kids. Oh, I did too. So, yeah. I always thought cool. I wanted four kids. I wanted two boys <laughs> and two girls. Girl, uh, what brought you here? You know, I think Flav is a very intriguing guy. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all that, yeah, I love him and I know I want to be with him, because I don't, you know, I don't know. You know what So I'm are you physically attracted to Flav? There might be a connection there, there might not. Mm. I kind of got mixed messages from her. At the same time, she was kind of honest. Hello, Luscious D. Hi. What do you know about Flav? Um, 
Like, I don't, I definitely can say that I don't know as much as, you know, the rest of you girls. Um, I, I basically, I've just been following, you know, I've seen them, I've been following back from the surreal life and through season one and through season two. So I just really know, like, just what I've seen on TV. She doesn't know anything about his music or his background. I'm definitely suspicious of the reasons why Luscious Dumb is even here. <laughs> Sorry, Tree comes down and she's wrapped up in a blanket and just looked like she just got fucked by the tree man out back. I don't know what's going on there. So what brought you here? Um, I came to get to know Flav better, um, more famous for him and fall in love possibly mm -hmm. in the end. Our meeting with Tree was like, what? She came down whispering, just acting really weird. Are you physically attracted to Flav? Like um, Honestly, y'all, uh, I really feel like, you know, my I go my gut feeling mm -hmm. that everyone gets old, mm -hmm. wrinkles. I'm about eyes, and I look into your eyes, so, so I think it's the eyes. And I don't even know what the hell she was even talking about. Well, um, I um, well, I'm Flav. Um, when he looks into you and he's like. What the fuck, is this bitch bipolar or some shit? <laughs> All right, so that's other than that, um, yes. that's pretty much it. So what y'all think? I say Luscious D to go. She's cool, she's sweet. Luscious D would be easier to run out of here. Yeah. We're trying to come up with a decision on who we should give them solo day with Flay to. I look at photocopy because photocopy, she's weaker, so we, she's she can stay around. My strategy pretty much is to choose the weakest link. In my eyes, one of the bigger competitors is Kalak. I don't want her getting any type of edge over me, especially when it comes to Flav. We got to be fair to him. She doesn't just want to be here just because she just wants to win a competition. If you're really here for Flav, you're going to pick the person that you think is the best for him. I mean, I like Black. I think she's honest. I think she's, I think she's the most honest. And we need to be fair about it. Yeah. We don't play Black. Yeah. I got to be honest. I hope this don't bite us in the head. Mm. We'll see. We shall yeah. see. So we all came up with the decision that Black should win. And, you know, hopefully won't come back to bite us in the butt, but we'll see. I just want to say, they picked you black. Would you mind coming up to my room with me, have a drink with me, sit and talk with me? So I decided to take black for a one-on-one -on -one in my suite. Go slip on something a little more comfortable and come see me. Wow. <laughs> you bang it. You are banging, lady. Thank you. Do you hear me? You are banging. I like a hair. You know what I'm saying? Like a big wow. You don't have to ask. You can offer yourself. It's OK. I've never had anyone be so romantic before. You're already growing on me. Damn. I wake up this morning and I'm really excited because I'm going on my first solo date with Flav. Sincere. Flav. So today, I'm going to take Sincere out on a real special date. See y'all later. Bye. Flav! During the wedding yesterday, he defended everybody except me. Flav's out with Sincere. And when Sincere sat there degrading me as a mother, you can't provide a stable environment for your children and yourself, let alone a man. I want a man that's gonna defend me and speak up for me. If he can't speak up for me, he don't need to be with me. I really, at this point, do not know what to think. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna have my chance to get everything off my chest because if he chooses to do like he did the last elimination and not have my clock in his hand, I will not leave here with no regrets. I think Helena's really stressing the fact that the last two eliminations, she, she's she been on the chopping block. And the previous one, he didn't even have her clock. And Sierra not even talk to you at all? No. Not really. She's saying that you're here basically to try to 
get Flav to take care of you and your kids. He's got seven kids. You know how much child support that is? <laughs> I mean, seriously, yeah. think about it. Flav's not rich. This isn't even his house. Whoa, if that's what you think of the guy, what are you doing here? Why don't you take your little butt home? Like, go back to Hotlanta. Mm -hmm. I've been keeping my mouth shut for a long time. But you best believe tonight, I'm going off. When we pull up to the airport, I don't know what the hell we're about to do. I've got the most awesome date for you guys today. We are going to go up in this 1935 biplane. We're going to cruise the coastline really low, and we're going to see the most beautiful, most amazing uh, sights out over Long Beach Harbor. You guys up for that? This sucks. I'm glad that I'm with Flav, but I sure as hell wish I would have went somewhere else because I hate heights. They call it a bye plane because if your ass ever falls out of that plane, bye. Go, Big Red! Flavor, Having my first solo date was sincere. As the air's blown through her hair weave, I was really, really genuinely feeling her. Um, this isn't good. Here we is, flying up in the air. Next thing you know. Uh, Flav, I'm hoping you didn't push the button in the front. forget and I'm glad that I had the opportunity and to share it with Flay. Delicious. Alright. After me and Sincere get back from our date, it's time for some one-on-ones. The first up was Luscious D. It's nice and warm over here. Good, good. I went on one time with Flav. I was excited that I got to finally like sit down with him and get to spend some more time with him. So, um, you want kids? Want three more? I have no kids, but I have dogs. So, they're my babies. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie, I haven't really been too big on pets. That's nasty. Gag, yeah, get out of here. Bad dog. You love them, they're sweet. But... I would love your dogs, huh? You would. For and you, you would love me. I don't like dogs. And also, anybody that knows Flavor Flav, they know Flavor Flav loves kids. They know that I want three more because I have seven. Now, I love climbing trees ever since I was mm. a little kid. We lost because Hotland and Seasons wanted me to be so over the top. I started getting angry. I started getting heated, like, Okay, I'm gonna pounce. I was wondering if we could be joined by one person. If I could bring one of the girls with me. I mean, I'm gonna ask her, I mean, it's up to you, Atlanta, if you would like to join us. When Tree asked me to come out with her one-on-one -on -one time, I thought she was gonna tell him she wants us to have a threesome. That is something that I just couldn't let slide. I just couldn't, I just couldn't because I do care. So you. hit your man, so, hit your man with it. I'm sorry, I, I, don't want, I don't mean to be dragging this all out or anything, so I'm just gonna say, I know what was said, and I know that there were other people there. So you said that he had no money, that he had nothing, that this okay. was not his house, okay? That he's, he's broke, 
someone First of who's all, broken is not that I have here. never said he was broke. Here. What was said was that I was after him for his money because I want somebody to support me and my kids. I will never have no man support me. If you can get money out of Jerry, get money out of his ass. Shit. Did I not say that? Did you or did you not say that he was broke? I was surprised that she would even say some shit like that about me as much as I thought she was feeling me. Come on, let's get to the bottom of this Absolutely. right now. Let's go. I agree. Come on. Thank you. Let's do this. At this point, how I feel about Tree, I'm, I want a fucking chainsaw. Kick it, Tree. What did you say to me outside, Tree? Hot Lana comes in and she states that she felt that you were broke. This is not your house. Who heard her say that? She said that this wasn't your house. Uh -huh. She didn't have money like that. OK. And that you have seven kids so that you have to pay a lot of child support. Hey, which, don't have a lot of money. which that she don't know, though, because she doesn't know my business. As of right now, this is my house. Mines. So I ain't broke. Your man ain't broke. For real. I got loot. I got loot. I got loot. I got loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Money hungry, bitch. I'm money hungry. Yeah, money hungry. How the fuck am I money hungry? Why you can't have a fucking house? How? Because you want to be money hungry. Because you want stability. That's why. What I said was when you got to tell you got You want stability. How? Everybody's screaming. Everybody's in everybody's face. I'm scared. I'm fixing to go to jail. Hold on. Oh, no. Everybody shut the fuck up. That's called bringing the court back to order. <laughs> thing one, thing two, do me a favor, thing one, thing two. Go to your rooms, please. Go to your rooms. Go there. Fuck that. I'm not fixing to yell and scream over a bunch of hood rats. I need to speak to Flav. Sir, Miss Hotlatta. I never said that you were broke. I don't give a fuck what kind of money you have. I'm not about fucking money and shit. But you know what? I'm a real woman, and it takes a real man to see it. And if you can't see it, you don't need to be with me, because you're not a real man. All I can do is be honest. Either he's going to be a man and he's going to see it, or he's not. Thank you for your honesty. I tried to explain to Flav that the information that was given to him was taken out of context. I don't know, hopefully he'll see the truth. If he don't, it's his loss. Going into elimination tonight, I feel worried. I don't think he likes dogs. And my dogs are like, my, those are my babies. I am so glad that Tree had the opportunity to bust out Hotlanta, because we've been telling him about her and season for the longest. They're fake. They both need to go. Well, ladies, once again, here I am in a position that's difficult for me because I know that I'm not going to be able to keep everybody I make a connection with. Right now, I'm going to give out my first clock. Sincere, well, come get your clock then. <laughs> I am very excited that I got my clock first for the first time ever. I'm glad that he is starting to feel me a little bit more, obviously. Cecilia, you can step back. You know what time it is. Thing one and thing two, I did split y'all apart because it was something that I felt that I had to do. But one thing that I can say Oh, y'all are definitely a team. So thing one and thing two, come get your clocks. Thing one. Thing two. I don't know what time it is. Six bodies, five clocks. Seasons. Let's come get your clock. Seasons? The bitch looks like a man. I don't know why the hell she's lasted up this long. Seasons, you know what time it is. So I get my clock and I am relieved. Well, I definitely have to step my game up. You know, the girl that y'all chose for me to go on a date with, I don't know if it was strategy, what? But I'm 
glad that y'all sent her. We did make a connection. Right, Black? That's right. Come get your clock. I feel great. I feel like me and Flav got the chance to kind of talk and get to know each other a little bit better. And I think that he can, you know, he can tell why I'm here. You know what time it is. My next clock is going to go to a young lady that I spoke with briefly. But I think there's something in there that I really might want to get to know. Photo type. Get your clock, G. I'm so happy and excited that I got my clock, but I'm not surprised at all. Flav wants a girl with a little bit of class. Photo type. You know what time it is. Two clocks. Luscious D. Tree. Highlander. Anything I can say? I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of this. I really just wanted to knock the shit out of each and every single one of them bitches for fucking lying on me. Two clocks. I got three girls. Two clocks. Three people. Not worried about anything. Hot Lana. She's, go she's out the door for sure. And Tree is missing some branches. I'm a little bit concerned, a little worried. Like, what is going on? If I were to get sent home tonight, um, I would feel like Flav lost a wonderful woman. I just want to say to you, Tree, it was a very courageous thing that you did today. I will never underestimate you. Come get your clock. She's a liar. I think she's a sneak. And when Gajaran comes around, and she'll fucking get hers. Tree, you one interesting sister, G. <laughs> I really want to check your pulse, G. <laughs> he pulls out my clock, and I'm just like, yes, mama's not going home tonight. Tree is here to stay. I got two girls, one clock. Luscious D. I had a beautiful date with you out there. You know what I'm saying in the whole nine. Atlanta, beautiful girl. Russia State, you're a beautiful person, but I don't have that connection with you. So your time is out. The reason why I eliminated Luscious D, honestly, because she's a nice girl, she's a great girl, but honestly, I really, really wasn't feeling her like that. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. Flav missed out on a really good girl. I have a lot of things to offer, and it just sucks for him that he's not going to get a chance to be part of my life. Atlanta, I just want to clarify. I do have money. I'm not broke. You know, when it comes down to my crib, my money, or my personal life, the only one that could speak on that is me. I got love for you. I got your clock. You can come get your clock. Time is up. Whoa. And you can take this clock with you. You know what? I trusted in your word. And I told myself I was never going to leave here with any regrets. And that's the only thing I regret that I did, was trust you. So in Flav, Helena does not trust. OK. Bye. That's fine. All I've done was come here and be myself. And I have been ripped apart. Everybody tries, has tried to rip me apart from day one. He's a fucking asshole. I'm glad he didn't choose me. Let's take my cake and get the real great brick. Be my pleasure, sir. 
At this point, Susan has no friends left in the house. I damn sure are gonna make sure she gets the fuck out. Ladies, come gather around your man.